Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you guys how to use a few scraps to make something very functional and usable in the mini happy planner. So this is a brand new planner. It just came out um, not too long ago. I'd say maybe, uh, I don't even know, honestly. Um, but it is a brand new planner. I have a couple videos on it already. Um, but I'm going to show you guys how to use some scraps to make something useful uh, concerning the mini happy planner. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm gonna take, I'm gonna set this aside for a minute. I'm gonna take these smaller pieces here and I'm gonna use these, okay? So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to measure 19 centimeters because that's how tall it is. Well, that's how tall it is including my cover but I may not use all of it but I'm gonna go ahead and measure that out right now just to you know see what I have to work with all right so this is actually a uh, right at 19 centimeters and this is going to be just shy or not just shy oh my gosh not even close it's gonna be pretty long so now we have an extra piece and we're actually gonna keep this out so what I'm going to do with these is I'm going to use these as bookmarks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically set this up just a little bit so it over or it hangs off the end like this. So I'm still going to cut it at 19 centimeters, possibly. Well, it looks like we're going to go with 18 because 19 is too tall. Or too long for this piece of scrap and also too when you're working with scraps just use what you got work with what you have don't necessarily you know be like oh it's not 19 centimeters so I have to cut an entirely new sheet of paper that's not true definitely work with what you have like what I just did it wasn't 19 centimeters so I just made it 18 and I can definitely work with it so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to continue this and make this also 18 centimeters. Um, I'm going to cut the end of this off just kind of to give it a flat edge and uh, I think I want the, I don't know if I want the um, butterfly or the flowers, the main. Actually, I think I might do I think I might do this blue. I yeah, think that's what I'm going to do. Alright, so I'm going to remember that we cut this at 18 centimeters. So I'm going to flip this over because the other edge isn't straight. So I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to cut this. And now I need to. I'm actually going to seal this um, on one side, not both sides, but one side, and I'll show you guys why in just a second. Oh no, my gun is stuck. All right, so all right, so this has words on it, so I wanted to make sure that it was facing the right direction. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this down right on the edge here all the way down okay now I'm going to cut both sheets of paper and it honestly doesn't matter how wide it is but I am going to cut both sheets of paper together to make sure that I have a nice straight even edge like I said it doesn't really matter how long it is or wide rather so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my plastic here and I'm going to cut it down to 18 centimeters because our sheet of paper had to be trimmed down so now I have this and I'm going to take some double side adhesive and I'm going to put it on the edge of one side and 
then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to put it on the same side on this side. I wish, wish I knew what to think of other than the word side because it sounds confusing even as I'm speaking it. All right. So we're going to burnish this down. Just basically what, all we're doing is we're going to adhere this tape to this plastic. That's what we're doing when we're pushing it down like this. And this is what we're going to do. We're going to add this tape. Hello. We're going to add this tape to this, just like so. Now, if we cut this properly, then it all should be completely flush with itself. Okay? Just like so. Okay. Um, I'm just wondering if I want this side or this side. Because I kind of like that better, but I don't know. Um, and I think right about now, I you can decide how far up because this is going to be a bookmark, you can decide how far up you want to go and you can just cut off the excess or you can make it flush. And I honestly haven't decided what I'm going to do. I kind of like just saw all my scraps and I was like, I need to do something with this stuff. So I decided to do some stuff with the stuff, the extra scraps. So. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull this down just a little bit and there we go. And just push it down. So I use Fabri-Tac a lot, but I don't use Fabri-Tac on this stuff because it's plastic and Fabri-Tac doesn't stick to plastic very well. So if you also use Fabri-Tac a lot, then I wouldn't suggest it for this. So um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this off. I'm just going to use my scissors. There we go. And now I'm going to get out my punches. Um, I have a We Are Memory Keepers Cropodile. Um, it's a corner punch and this is a 14, 14. Now it's a quarter inch hole punch. And so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to round the corners of everything and I'm going to round the corners of, uh, these ones up here as well. And I might actually, I think I might do half an inch on this one. I don't know if that'll work, honestly, because I put this up here first. Hmm. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this apart. So, ew. Okay. So, I'm going to do this. There we go. And I don't know if this one's going to want to come up. So if you pull it really slow before the tape has had time to cure, I think that you'll be able to get it up. All right. So now, <laughs> now, so uh, lesson learned. If you're going to round the corners and you're going to use this method, round the corners to the paper first. All right. So there's that. Now I'm going to go over to uh, a quarter of an inch on the rest of the three corners. Okay. And even the bottom corner, I'm gonna do a quarter of an inch because I wanted this one to be more definite, more defined. I am going to put just a little bit of tape right here though because um, I did not seal it across the top. I sealed it on either side. So, there's that. And if you need to trim anything, then definitely do that. 
so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my template, which is my cover that it came with. I'm going to lay it on the template just like I would if I'm putting it in my binder. And I'm going to add some clamps to it. Mm, that might work. All right, so there's that. And this one I might need a bigger clamp for. I'm going to try to put it like right in the middle. I don't know if that's going to work though. It might work. I guess we'll see. All right, so with this particular punch, I like to leave this part open so I can see inside. There's like a little hole inside, and that way I can see exactly what I'm doing. So I'm going to have to move this over just a little bit. It's kind of what I was afraid of with the clamps is the clamps getting in the way. Because with my, um, my covers, I could just put them here, here, and here. But with this one, I don't really have that option because it's not that big. You can label your bookmark or you can leave it as is. It's completely up to you what you decide to do with it. Um, but now it's complete. So we used a scrap. Oh, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier in the video, but this here is from the, when I made the planner cover. So I had made planner cover using a gift bag and these are scraps from that same gift bag. And so now I have a bookmark and I decided to use the plastic here, as I mentioned earlier in the video, just to give it a little bit more support. You can make a gift bag, uh, a, a bookmark using laminate or you can use um, just the papers themselves. It doesn't really matter, but when you are using the plastic, then it gives it a little bit extra support. Now, if you guys notice here, this plastic actually overlaps the page, but when you close the entire book, it's actually flush with the cover because we used the cover, well, the store cover for a template and we pushed it all the way to the top and that's what it did. If you don't want that, then don't use the cover for a, for a hole punch template. Use one of the pages or one of the dividers or something like that. So yeah, that is that and I hope you guys liked this video and thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, bye guys.